Okay, folks, this is the segment where I show the plants. Matthew Arthur's first year release, Taj Habanero. Of course, it is not a habanero or have genetic properties of a habanero. He was shooting for the habanero heat level, which I'll explain a little bit more in the sit-down review part. This part will be the plants. So let's, let's actually get the whole net off. And we'll start looking at the plants. Ladybugs. Um, I don't get to see plants like this because I isolate to help ensure purity. Um, do not be misled from others who say they isolate and do not use nets or a half a mile radius. There's a lot of that about. Anyway, it's going to storm here, so we're not going to be too long. You, when you get the seeds, you get some with a little bit of uh, purple in the stems, a little bit green, and then you'll get some more purple. And this is from calcium deficiency when you see that, but that's a different segment. This is what your peppers look like unripe. And they will ripen orange. I'm getting decent yields. So, the time limit is the storm coming. You can see it's starting to get orange. Not quite ready. Here's another one. And there's my timer, the storm coming. All right, so that's the Taja Habanero. All right, Jimmy Pickles here with episode number 11, Taja Habanero, Capsicum Chinense. This is a creation from Matthew Arthur. He has made many, many other creations and types. An example, Matthew Arthur, also known as M.A. M.A. Wartrix, uh, M.A. Daisy Cutter, um, Taja Habanero here, um, Mini Wartrix, which I will have on my site later this year, and this is 2019. Um, also Yellow Wartrix as well. Anyway, so this review is the Taja Habanero. I de-seeded it. But it's orange. You could see you get a little bit of that purple, purple black. I think it's more purple um, bleeding through the insides. This is not a habanero at all. Taja habanero, Taja, was named after Matthew Arthur's wife's granddaughter, Taja, just to put a smile on it child. Uh, those who do not know Matthew Arthur, he has been pretty much a legend in the pepper community. He really has. He has come up with some of the absolute tastiest peppers out there. Um, Daisy Cutter is one of my, one of my favorites. Um, and he's, he's just been very generous and he's really helped me out in my company uh, for this season. So a personal salute. Thank you, Matthew Arthur. I appreciate. So what he did is he made the cross with the Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion, cross with the Purple Naga Viper Brain Strain. And the coloring, the ripening coloring went from purple to brown. So he took that and they cross it with the Jay's Peach Go Scorpion. Um, at this moment, I do not even remember what generation it is. He said he's been doing it for quite a few years on this one, and it seems to be stable. So he released it to me, and I'll release it to my company. It, uh, I would not say this one is an exclusive, but a first year release. Um, the difference is a couple other people do have this with his generosity and everything. I tell you what, I'm just mesmerized with this. Shapes for the peppers are fairly consistent. Some you'll get a little bit longer, thinner, more of a tail, stuff like this. Um, mind you, I do have to do 
Based on my scheduling, I'm going to have to fit in about four reviews today, back to back to back to back. So it's going to take about 20, 30 minute break in between. So I'm not eating the whole pepper. It's not about the challenge. It's about applying. Whew. It's about applying the pepper and the flavor. This is a visual description of basically what's on my website. So those who do not want to read it can actually just watch it. Um, anyway, the smell as a sweet. It's like an orange, orange smell in the background. Anyway, I've eaten a few of these. And it's no joke. It's no joke at all. Oh, it's... It hits you fast. Now, I might not be able to talk if I do a huge piece. I ate one last night on a nacho with cream or sour cream, and it kind of takes the, a little bit of the heat away. So if you put a pepper and uh, sour cream and a chip, you can get more of the flavor. I've learned you can get more of the flavor than just the heat. Same thing if you take a pepper of this and put cream cheese in it. Now, this is... Woo! So, for... Without further delay, I'm just going to eat part of it. And you're going to see the before and after look. I mean, I was out cutting the grass, so. But you're going to see how much I sweat. And like I said, I'm doing multiple reviews. <coughs> so I should make a decent chunk, but this is enough just to let you know it's the tip of it. Yeah, I'm a little scared, so I did uh, just do it. Mass heat. I, I, I sensed heat before flavor, which is odd. Orange, it's like almost like an orange, orange lemon flavor. Very citrusy. Citrusy, not so all orange, but if you mix a little orange and uh, lemon. Heat's increasing. Tip of my tongue. I'm chewing it up very well. <coughs> you know what? <coughs> That's good. It's great flavor. You know, I'm going to have a whole bunch of peppers after I deseed them. I'm going to make a sauce personally for myself. Not for sales, not, nothing like that. I'd have to get through the process of getting regulated for sauces, but not too interested in doing that right now anyway. Seeds is what I want to do. And we'll go from there. I'm already working 16 hours a day. Why do more? I'd have to hire more people. But anyway, I love this thing. Thin skinned. It's almost like a wafer. In fact, you know what? <clears throat> I gotta do a whole bunch of reviews, but I am I'm in love with this pepper. Sorry about that. Sometimes when I do reviews of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I put I put half of it in it. What the heck, you know? It's really good. I do goofy stuff like this all day. Peanut butter, strawberry jelly. And got uh, one of these in it. What the heck? I'll put the other half in here too. It's like, okay, I am eating the whole pepper. Oh, that caught me right there. Okay. 
peanut butter. Now the heat level, I'm actually wanting more now. But the heat level, I'm, I've had some heat levels range on these. Tom's is going up a little bit though. Um, I'd say around a ghost level. I've had some that just blew my hat off instantly. Like, wow. This one, there's been a lot of rain lately for uh, the one I just ate. So, it's probably a little bit less heat than the other ones, but I've had some that are just atomic. This one was very hot. Definitely super hot. So, I appreciate everybody watching. These will be on the website by the end of uh, the end of the week, calendar wise. I should have known this before. The up late, up, upload date. Just add two, three more days on there, so I can get around processing the seeds. I got a whole bunch of seeds already. I just gotta upload it. All right, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode.